Hello. Welcome to today's energy. Welcome to One Who Seeks. Where you are the one who seeks. Okay, what are you seeking today? Right, let's see, let's get these over here. Do a little prayer of gratitude to the archangels, our ascendants, ones who have passed. Thank you for all your love and support and guidance throughout our journey of life. We are grateful that you are here for our greatest good. Let me be a clear channel for your guidance. I want to try something a little different today. So I kind of drew up my own little spread. It's not really that much different from the five card spread that I normally do, just slightly. I'm just trying to work on uh, figuring out different ways of getting the answers and what's going to work best for the dailies. Um, if you have a preference, please leave it down in the comments. I will definitely consider what you want. <sighs> Today is January 31st. 2024. It is my dog Scuba's birthday. He is 12 years old today. Thank you, Scuba. Happy birthday, Scuba. Love you so much. Yeah, still going strong. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to pull the energy card first. All right, so I want an overall energy and I think actually what I'm going to do is use a completely different deck for the energy. All right. I am drawn to the Halloween. Oh, this is an Oracle deck. So I don't want to necessarily use an Oracle. This is not my intention except for I'm being called to do it. So I'm going to listen to the angels and that one, we're going to keep part of your energy. It's an Oracle though. Um, I do want a tarot card. So we're going to do this one for your energy. Okay. And this is for the collective. It's all about your intuition. Look at the cards, look at the details of the, the images. Uh, any words that might stand out to you that resonate. It's about your intuition just as much as it is about mine. So anything that resonates with you is for you. Anything that doesn't, leave for someone else. Okay, and I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so it's going to be your overall energy. Let's see what those now. Oh, creepy. Ghost. Regret. Yeah, this is a Halloween Oracle deck. It is not Halloween. It is January. But it's my new deck and I want to use it. And I love Halloween. I'm dressing up. Um, being someone or something different for a night. It's kind of fun. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. And this is about a gift of abundance from the gods. So that's a really cool energy for you today. Uh, very interesting. 
So those ghosts could be literally your angels watching over you who you don't necessarily see. I mean, some of you might be able to see them, um, but you feel them. You know that they're around. They're always with you. They're there to protect you. This could be somebody you have recently lost. Um, and there's regret around that. You know, very sorry for that. Um, but it's going to be a gift of abundance. Maybe there's a trust waiting for you. Um, maybe it was just a, a situation that you got out of that is going to bring you more peace. Could be the ghost of your past. Uh, the picture of this ghost on here kind of reminds me of Princess Leia in Star Wars. Um, and just kind of the feeling of it is like, beam me up. Uh, I guess that's Star Trek. Beam me up, Scotty. Um, <clears throat> so this has to do a lot with the universe. Both of those movies are about space. Um, and battles in space, particularly. So if you have regrets, um, past things that you regret doing, um, it, they kind of linger. Skeletons in your closet. Um, let them go. Let them go to the universe. Um, surrender to your angels. Let them take your, over your path here. Uh, I feel like you might be feeling a little stuck. Sometimes ghosts get stuck. Um, you know, the haunted house. Some ghosts are stuck in the home. When we are in a house there. So I feel like you really need to surrender to these gifts that are coming in. The universe and your angels are watching you and they are going to provide for you okay so let's get into um so these slots are going to have a little bit different meaning some of them might be the same as the traditional five card spread that i've been doing this one is going to be, how do you feel right now? What are your gut feelings? The emotions that are coming up in you right now. Say it out loud. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you angry? Are you upset? Are you mourning? <clears throat> are you excited? What's going on for you right now? Feel that emotion. Where is it coming from? Which chakra is it coming from? Your throat, your sacral, your root, third eye. Really feel that emotion. And you have the tower. So that is something that is sudden. Maybe like a stomach ache or a headache. You know, it comes on very suddenly. All of a sudden, you just feel ill um, or dizzy. Well, there's different ailments out there that might come on suddenly. A heart attack. Um, yeah, a little lost there for a second. I'm back. <laughs> So, what are you feeling? What is happening suddenly? 
something that needs to happen too, right? The tower is something about is divinely guided. Like it needs to happen in order for you to move on. Maybe it's an awakening, an awakening of some sort. Um, maybe you're getting these ailments a lot. Maybe you should pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, who or what is affecting this feeling? This is a card of heartbreak, agony. Uh, and this background really reminds me of paradise and how it's all burnt up. And the trees that are standing look dead or are dead. There's a lot of agony there. So for me, yeah, I talk about it a lot because it's, even though it's been a little over five years now, it's um, something that's very prominent and still occurring in my life. Um, you know, rebuilding now and have to deal with a lot of paperwork and paying for things uh, before you even get to that tangible item. You know, I've spent lots of money on just paperwork, basically. Um, permits and plans and surveys. So that really affects my feelings of being anxious, being ready uh, to start my new life. You know, this happened suddenly. And everything I do is based off of that. You know, what happened then? Um, and, you know, what I've learned. There's a lot of lessons in there. I've grown a lot in the last five years. I feel like I've lived at least three lifetimes since then. Um, I keep evolving and growing. I'm a different person now. So this heartache, you know, is you, if you're having gut issues, I keep hearing gut issues, gut issues. <laughs> you know, you have this agony. You, your stomach hurts. It hurts. So you're screaming. somebody causing you heartache they suddenly maybe break up with you are you breaking up with somebody suddenly out of nowhere seems maybe there is some sort of cheating going on regret okay and then, uh, what do you need to know about the situation for your highest good? Wow, that's beautiful. Ten of Cups. So, this is about family and emotions. And just feeling good and having all your beautiful cups here. They're full of the colors of the rainbow. You have a very beautiful energy here. This is also your timing card. So, let's see, we have um, days, weeks, months, so about 10 months. Alright, so you'll be getting that in about 10 months, within 10 months. This beautiful energy, you're going to transform really quickly from, hey, I have tower, 
I have this heart break from this tower, this foundation falling. I thought it was sturdy. It wasn't. I am upset about it into this beautiful energy. Maybe you're living in a fantasy land. Maybe you're going to have a family that you've always wanted. Children. I'm not sure what this is here. It's like some sort of piece of wood that's like woven into this rainbow. It might resonate with someone. It almost looks like maybe a flute of some sort, a recorder, <laughs> remember the recorders as a child? Um, well, <laughs> at least if you were going to school in the 80s, um, I don't know if they still do that or not. Maybe there's something about you need to record something. There's lots of love here though. Somebody's sending you a message. Um, this could be from your angels. Your angels are here. Here's your ghost. They're sending you a message. A recording of love and light, though. So it's positive energy, positive messages that they're trying to send to you. Okay, and then what is the lesson here or what am I to learn from the situation? Queen of Cups. So the Queen is about advice, right? <laughs> and we're literally asking for advice right now. What is the lesson here, right? What, what, what can I learn from the situation? You just need to surrender, dive deep into your emotions, and sit there with them. Surrender to your angels. They will guide you. Get on this rainbow, this rainbow path. They are guiding you. Ooh. Okay, and then we have what actions or choices can you make right now to get the feeling that you want? Self-love, send out love, receive love, give it to God. You might be helping other people get over this. You know, if you're going back to your community, um, you're going to help the other people who need to rebuild their foundation and provide love and inspiration, wisdom. Whoa, I just saw this. So all of these are cups. All three of these are cups. Okay. So you have the ending of a cycle, you have the advice, and you have the beginning of a cycle. And they're all emotions. Okay, swords is about the mind. And tower is about sudden. Sudden things happening, happening suddenly. 
because it had to. Right, for you to become enlightened, if this is an ailment, you really need to look to God, look to your inner spirit. Um, what's in this bowl? There's love. There's lots of love in this bowl. But it could also be medicine for food, right? Eat the right kinds of food in your bowl. Eat your greens. I think of a salad. <clears throat> to maybe help your ailment of your your tummy hurting. Um, you know, or if this is a cheating situation, it's, it's about just loving yourself, uh, doing what's for your highest good. be feeling really good here very energetic positive and your heart chakra I said something about a stroke so you know maybe you need to pay attention to your heart there's a couple of hearts here your big heart and your your littler heart here but agony is always so much more than the good things, right? If somebody compliments you, you, you know, you may or may not hear it, but if somebody says something negative about you, it's really going to be loud and big, right? Because fear is loud. Intuition is soft. So go within. Eat the colors of the rainbow. You're getting that, you know, you get different nutrients from different colors of food, especially from um, your vegetables and your fruits. Okay. So this is going to take a little bit of time. This is definitely something you have to figure out um, you're not gonna have a clear solution right away you have at least 10 months Ooh. right um, Your angels are protecting you here. They're guiding you. clarifying questions well, it seems pretty self-explanatory something um, it's gonna happen suddenly it's going to break your heart but you it's for your highest good and your angels are watching over you uh, whatever your context may be. Is it love? Is it career? Is it just life in general? Is it your home? Is it your health? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe even somebody... I don't want to say it, but um, maybe somebody's past and gone to heaven right because you got your ghost here you have it happened suddenly 
you have heartbreak. You know, this is very fantasy over here, these three. Um, where you're up in the sky. All these, you're just up in the sky. I mean, you, well, this one, you're actually underwater. But this looks like the universe as well. Right? The water in the sky. Um, rain, teardrops, right? water comes from the sky. It's raining right now. And the teardrops come from your, your eyes. And you're in the universe over here, right? And you're being held. You're being held by God, your spirit, your angels, your loved ones. Yeah, it seems like you got there from water too. This feels like water here. You got a rainbow over here. So it's connecting all these cards. You know, this is your journey to heaven. You are now our ghost. This is, you know, you're with your angels. Yeah, it's kind of a weird reading, but um, it's what came out, so I have to say it. So let's talk to our mermaids and get a little more information on today's energy. <laughs> energy field adjustment, or cleansing and health. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, wow. That's amazing because that's pretty much everything I just said right there. Okay, I want to read the book on this for this one because it's pretty much exactly what I just said. You know, and if you look at these really fantasy type cards... Over here, this is like your aura, right? And aura has lots of colors. You know, they shift colors depending on your mood. And I was just talking about your health. Um, so let's see here, what number is that? Six, number six is harmony, harmony. In another video, I said it was creativity, but three is creativity. All right, so for this, the mermaids sing your body, your spirit, your mind, your emotions, all are in a complex and finely balanced relationship and all produce an emanate Sorry if I get these words wrong. I'm hooked on phonics. Um, didn't work for me. Okay. Um, and emanate, yes. And energetic fields, which can be viewed by clairvoyance called your aura. Many, many people use a sense this energy field around you to and to a large extent your energetic field will have a great impact on who you are attracting what your health is like where there are issues in your life and what abundance experience you are drawing to yourself the quality and health of your aura can be worked on with the mermaids as we being saltwater dwellers are in a continual process of cleansing and renewing our auric field. Our human friends, often being more air than water, tend to have more to cleanse than our mermaid allies and friends. As we mermaids are on your side, we wish to extend to you the gift of another magical tool, our magical comb. That's my dog, Karma. 
sorry. In mermaid lore, it often looks as if all the mermaid is doing the combing out of her hair. I cannot read this today. Uh, as if she's vain and preoccupied with her appearance. Appearance. In some ways, we can read this way, but the mermaid's comb is not simply an instrument of beauty. It is one of our most magical tools, and it cleanses and clears out orc field. Our hair is a symbol of personal power and allure. By combining, combing through it, we are thinking, pondering, smoothing, and frazzling out thoughts and knots, relaxing and easing our mental field. The comb can be used all over the body. It is also a symbol of how immersing yourself in cleansing waters, either healing springs or salty seas that runs clean and free. All this water, all water. Can comb through your entire auric field and free it from any lingering toxins, debris, and infectious sites that can later emerge from the body and mind and emotions. The entire ocean field, a waterfall, the healing waters of a spring or a lake or a pool, all can care for your, uh, orc field. If you cannot find one to immerse yourself in, if it is too cold, too far, too polluted, too whatever, then take yourself through the mermaid or cleansing in your mind. We will guide you. Okay. Act on what you learn. Okay. Yes. And we're going to put that over here next to our aura cards. So cleanse your energy. If you need to do a detox, uh, get, get away from maybe toxic people that are making you upset, upset stomach. You know, it could also be something emotional that's happening. Hey, okay, wow. Okay, so we're gonna do Beyond Luminera. Yeah, some of you might not like me reading out of the books. Um, I don't particularly like to read out loud. Like I said, um, you know, hooked on phonics. I used to do that as a kid, but it didn't seem to help me much. Uh, I'm also dyslexic, so it takes me a little longer to read and process. Uh, I can read it a little faster, but then I'm not processing it. So, you know, when I look back on this video later, I might get more information out of it myself. Um, hopefully you got a lot out of it while you were listening, even with the interruptions of karma, which is for somebody, my dog's name is karma. And maybe you have good or bad karma coming to you. Um, but it's very loud and it wants your attention. So Alright, what else do we need to know? Heart chakra. Unfurling, unfurling, furling back to love. So you're getting back to your love. You're unraveling something, right? You're going through all these emotions here. You need to get back to the love. Love yourself, love others. Okay, so um, do these little cards here. This is not actually a tarot deck at all. Um, 
This is more about building relationships with others. And I feel like they might have some good information. Sometimes I have questions on them uh, that might give you a little more insight. So there's categories here. There's past, random, life, relationship, intimacy, and about you. So, um, we're going to do the one about you. Okay, so let's see, the one's about you, that's that one. So, okay, because this reading is about you, right? It might be about others as well, but it's definitely about you. Okay. What was your biggest culture shock? Okay, that might resonate for somebody. Um, you know, I was talking about the fire paradise, right? So that goes with these guys here. Um, yeah. It's definitely a culture shock because my entire town is gone. Uh, I had to completely change my life. Had to move out of town. Um, trying to navigate ways t to live. Uh, I had so many things that would prevent me from doing certain other things. And, you know, I really have experienced how bad it is with the homelessness because even with somebody like me who had insurance which barely covered um paying for the house that actually burnt down um and then having to move on from that and try to rebuild a life um it's a huge culture shock uh i have two pit bull mixes a lot of um, places don't want you to have one, either pets, dogs, and, or aggressive breeds, aggress, aggressive, um, which they're not, they're totally sweet and loving, um, but it doesn't matter, it's the rules, right? So, you can't get in certain places. We live in a fifth wheel, um, we are 37 foot long trailer. There's a lot of restrictions on the like state parks won't even let us in with our, our fifth wheel because we are too long. Um, so there's lots of different restrictions. There's lots of different things. There's, you know, um, traveling around for the past year or so, trying to find somewhere else to live and find roots um, to start a new foundation and live this beautiful life. Um, a lot of people don't want to rent out to you because uh, we, we don't have an income that's coming in um, every month. It's something that they can see, okay, well, if you want to get a loan, then you have to have an income. If you want to rent, you have to have that income. Even though you have money in the bank, they don't look at that, right? So they make it really difficult to build a foundation and plant your roots somewhere where you can actually build your life and get out of the situation that you're in. <sighs> Big culture shock for me. Um, having to live in other environments. Uh, living on people's driveways, my friends and family. So grateful for them. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, really would have been a lot harder without you. And um, it's a culture shock. You're living in different people's lives and you're seeing how other people live and there's an energy field around that and you need to adjust to it. Okay, that was really long, but... <laughs> 
Um, you know, what's your culture shock? Could be personal. It could be um, having to do with, you know, social media. Just media in general. There's different types of culture shock. Just putting yourself in a different environment. The people that you're around. The energy fields change. Right? You have to live your life differently. I, you know, I don't really have the same routine that I used to have and trying to stick to a routine is a challenge for sure. Um, really looking forward to being settled, having my own space, my own land again, to be able to kind of spread my wings, right? So grateful. Thank you. Grateful. So we have turquoise. Prioritize your health. Oh my goodness. We're talking about health again. All right? Most readers don't like to talk about health. And so I was kind of resistant against talking about it. But that's the energy that's coming out. It's the message that wants to come out. really need to have that self-love and nurture your body. Your body is a temple. And it, it connects you to higher powers and is able to help you manifest the things that you want for your highest good. Divine timing. The divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. Mm -hmm. This Ten of Cups is also your timing card. Ten months. All right. And it's divine. The rainbow. It's very divine. Mm -hmm. What else would you like us to know about this reading? What is going on? There's a lot of health going on here. What do I need to know about our health? As my light hounch, hmm, I cannot talk today. There's something about the energy, right? It's like the ghost is trying to take over. Um, I feel like something's like stopping me, trying to take over, and I'm just like trying to push through it. <clears throat> um, as my life lighthouse shimmers for others, it lights my own way too. What did I say? Love yourself, love others, right? That's shining your light. Look at those beautiful light. It's shimmering. Beautiful. Okay. Of comets and stardust and moonlight. Symphonies. Your glow is a lighthouse for all the ships lost at sea. By creatively and passionately embracing your hero's journey... Your energy becomes an alluring guide light to others who may feel broken or ho hopeless. I almost said homeless there because that made me think of my homeless uh, scenario, right? Those people are usually broken and hopeless. Um, and if you can shine your light on them, it will help lead your path. Keep sharing, connecting, and offering your vulnerable wisdom. As your lighthouse shimmers for others, your light's your own way too. It's beautiful. And then I drank libations of high vibrations on the top there. <clears throat> mm-hmm. 
Hmm. All right, let me get these other little crystal cards here. What I'd like to do. All right. Aquamarine, communication. I communicate with ease and grace. Aquamarine. All right, your aura is a sense of communication, right? That you, it's your energy field. It's your energy field. You're communicating with a higher power. Love, open up your heart chakra. Help others, shine your light. It's what you're meant to do. Don't worry about this past with your regret and heartbreak and your breaking down of the foundations, right? Shimmer your light. Prioritize your health. Okay, what else would you like uh, us to know? Our health. What actions can we take to feel better? Ah, all right. The fool. The fool is about taking a leap of faith. Um, not worrying about the consequences of things, just doing them. It's also about playfulness. Um, here she just looks faint. Um, she, you know, she's so ill. Like she doesn't feel good. It looks like she, she doesn't really look playful in this one. Um, maybe that's what you're looking for. You want to feel playful again, but because of this ailment, you just don't feel very good. You're kind of walking around in this, like, blind, oh, <laughs> I'm so faint kind of energy that you're just going to walk off the cliff here because you can't see. Your vision is not clear because of something going on in your health. Even your dog is worried about you. And dogs have an intuitive sense. So they know when somebody's not feeling good or they have an ailment, right? Like they can smell cancer. And it's my dog's birthday today. Aw, oh, scuba, right? Scuba dive in the water, right? Mm-hmm. So the advice is to be careful. Um, don't be careless. Have faith. Okay. Um, these ones are kind of fun too. So I just have this other deck. It's definitely not a tarot deck either. Um, but it is the periodic table of elements and sometimes they have things that they want to say as well. Um, definitely not a tarot or oracle deck, but I find it fun because it does have to do with the elements of earth. Right, here we are. We are having the human experience here on Earth. Okay, and we need to level up to our spiritual experience. Which is funny, that sodium one kind of popped out here. Oh, it, oh not sodium. Uh, indium, 49. 
post trans transial trans ition metal jesus excuse me i cannot process words today right <laughs> Nine plus four is 13, which is a four number, which is foundation. Okay, something about a metal foundation, maybe. Post transition metal, right? Transistors, mirrors, smartphones. This has to do with maybe getting off of your phones, um, spending more time with your spirituality. I am getting like, be quiet, like you're talking too much. Or maybe it's like a start button. Maybe you need to speak up. Could be mute as well. Mirrors. Look at yourself in the mirror. How does your body look? All right, because if you're not feeling well, it's going to look a little different. Yeah, these kind of almost look like little, like, sweat bullets all around him. Adam Buell. It's actually a game picked up at the museum. Yeah, so there's definitely something about messages. Um, looking at yourself in the mirror. Self-love, right? Communication. Okay, so I think that is all the messages that I have for you today. I'm going to use this deck and um, I thank you for being here. I thank the angels for being here and guiding us and having me be a clear channel for this guidance and always bringing me messages for our highest good okay, and if you like what you see here and you got something out of it please like subscribe and share so others can get the benefit of the readings as well uh, there's definitely a message here for everyone and uh, like I've said before, it's about your intuition as much as it is about mine. I tell you my stories and what I see out of the cards, but um, you might have a different story, right? You might see something different that pops up. And um, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you for being here and happy birthday, Scuba. I love you all.